so yeah so right now it's saturday morning i need to get to work we have someone coming in for their second interview so i need to do that hopefully god guys hiring people is so hard i'm not even kidding you the amount of people that apply for jobs that really don't actually want jobs <laughs> or or who think they <laughs> You look at their experience and they're like, mm, yes, I would like $20 an hour. I'm like, <laughs> no. Um, where am I going with this? Need to go to work. Then, then I need to go to get these dresses hemmed. So I have a really good tailor. She's really good. And then get some food at Aldi because it's like right by, by wherever I'm getting the dresses hemmed. And then... You see, you can probably see this pile of crap behind me. I have that return, so I have to return a pair of boots that came damaged. Um, those are gonna go in the mail though. And then I have dresses back there and then another set of dresses that I'm returning to Dillard's. I just like, first of all, one of them I found cheaper online, like $30 cheaper. So of course I'm gonna return the one I got in store. And then the other one I've just decided against. And I'm just, I pulled one of my older dresses I don't know when I fit into this. It was a dress that I wore to a wedding in Bangkok and I was just like, this is pretty. I had already got it tailored when I was in Bangkok and it was still massively huge on me when I put it on. I'm like, whoa. So that'll hopefully whatever. So the goal for the reception for both me and my sister, she doesn't have a reception dress. She could just wear her wedding dress, but you know, you wanna be comfortable so you can eat, dance and all that stuff. So. I have two dresses for the reception and then I sent her one already. Um, so we'll see. I'm just gonna get these tailored. We're the same size, but she's wider and I'm like rounder. Um, and she's like a couple inches taller than me, but I do four inch heels and she does like a two inch heel. So we're good. So I'll let her just wish everyone looks the best on her. She can wear that one, obviously. I don't really care. And then I'll pick from the leftovers. <laughs> Okay, so today, ooh, um, took a different turn. So after work, since my mom was there and we were just talking about a lot of things, I'm like, okay, well, we had a lot of stuff to talk about. So I was like, why don't you just join me for the rest of the, today? So we went to um, the tailor together and then we went to Aldi because they have these like nice hams. That sounds weird. So basically at work every year we give out uh, employee's choice of a ham or a turkey so apparently the hams at Aldi are nice so we went to see how many we could get I don't know is that like a thing it, I feel like it's a very old school thing I don't know that I've never worked at a place where they gave you something like that for Thanksgiving but whatever that's what we do and then we went oh guys we went to the mall which was you know I hate the mall the mall is just like and then on the weekend, you're just like, oh my God, people are everywhere. So we were waiting in line to get food because we were like, might as well eat before we actually, you know, do other things. And <sighs> stood in line for probably 25 minutes because we get Sarku Japan. That, what do you call it? That food place always has like the most people and had food, went to the bathroom, put my sunglasses on the thing where the toilet paper is, did my business, got up, left, and probably forgot take my sunglasses and I didn't realize it until maybe a couple hours later when we were leaving the mall so I like run back to those bathrooms and I'm like I'm sure someone took them do you guys know which pair of sunglasses it was those Mew Mews that I just like love so much <sighs> fortunately I have three pairs and the one pair that I had left there was like the oldest pair like they were like the most scratched up and they're like the ones I like keep um this is gonna show no, whatever. You know how you keep your sunglasses in this thing? Like, it was what I kept in here. It's like a backup pair. So, like, they're the most, like, stretched out. So, that's okay. Anyway, went to Sephora. Um, I returned the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I liked it. It looked pretty. But, as someone who doesn't wear matte foundation all the time, when I'm gonna wear a matte foundation, it's gonna be the Estee Lauder Double Wear. And I felt like when I would check myself at the end of the day, like the end of the work day, around four, 4.35, I feel like it didn't last as long as the Estee Lauder. Um, so, I mean, I'm always gonna reach for the Estee Lauder anyway. However, so I returned that and I got the Cover Effects Natural Finish Foundation. I got M35. 
Uh, the thing with cover effects that I've noticed is that they're, they have three tones. There's P for pink, N for neutral, and G for golden. Their golden is very yellow. So I feel like I've always been like choosing my shade from that like tone family and it's always looked off on me so I started going into the end the end range that's the word I was looking for um I have m35 here of the natural finish foundation I got one of those cards with like three different shades and n40 was in there and I think that looked pretty good but I'm gonna try this m35 because after kind of like swatching all of them and I, I'm stupid like I wore this thing like the things that do this so like I barely have any room to like swatch today so we'll see if this looks good but I think this is a good a match and then this is from Hourglass. I've kind of wanted one for a while. When this first showed up on Instagram, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Very turned on. It's the, what do you call these? The confession? This thing is heavy. So I got the shade I'll Never Stop. Should we try it on? I don't really have anything on right now. I did. It's easily removable. Oh yes, oh yes. Okay, that was like a okay application. I like it. It's a very good nude, a very like neutral nude. Does this look the same as what I had on before? I hope not. Oh my God, this is so sleek. And food, I'll share some food with you. Okay, so I just went to Aldi, so there might not be anything that interesting, but this smoked mozzarella ravioli is delicious. I got it a couple weeks ago. Oh my god. Like, I had it immediately. Two bags. When I went there, it was pretty much gone. There was like, there were only these two bags. So, mine, dozen eggs, 25 cents. Almond milk, and a brie log. Uh, yes, please. I love brie. Brie is like... Any form of brie with any other accoutrement, I am like, give it to me. So, I'm on a mission for boots and leggings. Um, also, and he's still doing <laughs> wedding prep for my sister. I need to get hair dye for me and for my weave that I may or may not wear. And then I need to get, I already picked out a hair dye for her. It's like a Japanese one that I picked up off of Forever 21. And I probably should prepare some weave for her too because I don't know. She has like more hair than me, but it's like finer. Um, obviously, it's probably super healthy because she doesn't really do anything to her hair. Although she told me she hasn't cut her hair in a year. I'm like, bitch. <laughs> that is so bad. So, yeah, I need to do all that. And just like the tiniest things. I'm like, what do I want to use on her body? Are we going to need this kind of undergarment? Like, you just don't know. So I showed you the Cover FX foundation. No go. I got a sample card of it. And I liked it. I used it twice. And then I bought this full size and it did not look good on me. I'm like, this is gross. Like it just, it clung to like a dry patch um, that I didn't know I had. And you know how like when things create things that you didn't have and you're like, no, I don't like this. And then the Hourglass Lippy, when I was in store, you know, there's so many lights in there and everything, all the cream products are always so like and they always apply so nicely when I got it home the more I tried it on at first I thought it was dry because you know I had like wiped off all my lip products and my lips were dry but then I tried it on later again and it was still like drier than I wanted so they're both going back I hate returning things in store because they feel like like I feel bad and you know the thing is a lot of people like I've read so many times or in videos people complain about like return stuff at Sephora or Ulta and like the associate bringing them like you know doing the return will like be kind of rude or judgy or whatever I mean first of all there's a return policy in place you work at a place with a return policy so whatever I personally in the Ulta's and the Sephora's around me whenever I've returned something I've never had an issue I've never felt like they were like making me feel bad so I mean I feel bad for people who've had that experience because it, it really will deter you from going back into a store for every video that I've seen regarding the Maybelline Gigi Hadid collab is it just me I feel like some people are really just like you know this is no one will no one has full out just been like this sucks you know but it's like a lot of like well this is good 
and you, the, the tone that you pick up on is just so obvious, right? Does it feel like they really, like they paid Gigi Hadid, but then they had like $10 left to do the makeup? <laughs> because that's the feeling I get anytime I watch any video regarding that collection. Okay, so yesterday I got home pretty late. Like, not late, I got home at 5.30, but it was already so dark, so I couldn't share anything with you, which made me sad because um, I did get a few more things. Like, I exchanged stuff for the Sephora, from the Sephora sale. Um, and what else? I did get two pairs of leggings from Nordstrom Rack, which was good. They're like the same pair. They're actually like faux leather and they are like really sexy and they're like lined with like a little bit of fleece So they're super warm, but because they're lined they add a little bit of like width to your legs, which Whatever gotta wear some heeled boots um, They're so cute though. They're by halogen I will link them below or show them to you if I remember and then I got two pairs of leggings from TJ Maxx, which was good What else? There's always so much real techniques at TJ Maxx, which I like, because sometimes I don't like to wait for Ulta to do a sale. Um, so I got uh, a two pack of the little purple sponges, and I used it this morning and I liked it. Um, and I got the Kat Von D foundation brush. Oh my God, because I love the concealer brush that I picked up like a week ago. Both are so, 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 so good. Oh my God, you guys are gonna yell at me. I don't have my seatbelt on. I like, got distracted talking to you guys. Um, what else did I get? The Beauty Blender blush size. Smaller than I thought. Not, I mean, but I guess if it were bigger then it would just be the same size as a Beauty Blender. And I like that. Um, what else? I don't know, I wanna want wear my hair straight. It's like I had one bad curl, like, or a few bad curls. You know when you curl your hair? I don't know, at least for me. My curls set really quickly and then I'm stuck with that for like a day or two. Probably two or three. Yeah, what can I share with you? Oh, I'm watching Vanderpump Rules right now. And I watch it on and off. Like, I'll just catch up later. But I think I'm watching whatever the most recent season is on Hulu. I know it's not a comedy, but oh my god, they're so funny. Like, they're just so funny. Um, and at first I wasn't really enjoying the season. It was kind of, like, boring me. And then after, like, the Pride episode, then it was, like, really good. I, f I feel like. That was kind of a hard episode. I love me some Lisa Vanderpump. I mean, there's like tons of housewives. And a lot of them, honestly, they're just like, there's like nothing up here. And I like her a lot, and I like Bethany Frankel. Like, yeah, they have strong personalities, and they might, you know, play with the frivolity of whatever the housewives shows are, but like, they take a stand for things. Like, Lisa Vanderpump is like, all about pride she's all about saving dogs like she goes out there and she d makes a difference and takes a stand and same with Bethany Frankel I don't know if you guys follow her but like through with Texas and Mexico and Puerto Rico she has done so much it is amazing to me what she has accomplished in fact anybody like there's a lot of people who like have anonymously just you know provided through these disasters and it's amazing what a singular person can do I mean with money <laughs> I don't <laughs> people with money can do so much more and also have friends who have money but they could easily do something else they could go buy something they could they could do something else but they're doing this and it's amazing good morning we haven't filmed in this like area in a while i was really really loving like the natural sunlight um in the living room usually like back in the day i would like film very close to that like like huge window and then i just moved myself all the way back to the like end of the room um and i really liked the natural sunlight but the thing is it's winter and like officially so it gets lighter much later in the day and it gets darker much earlier in the day so the amount of time I can actually utilize sunlight if there is sun is very small so like even if I wake up really early I have to like wait for the sun to come out to film there and I mean it's convenient having like studio lights but you know what the makeup just never looks as good as when it's in the natural sunlight you know what I mean like I feel like in that lighting you can see like all the imperfections which I like because you can see my dark circles more 
or like the divots and you can see like I have a scar here which you know you can't you can see here but you see it much more in like natural lighting and I like that because then you can like see how the makeup actually looks and like almost feels on my skin anyway okay um the foundation today and in at least probably the past two weeks has been the Milani 2-in-1 foundation concealer I am in shade 3 uh, put it in a cushion as usual, sometimes I use a sponge, sometimes I use a brush. Today I've been using this. I've been using this for maybe like two or three weeks, a few times a week, just because I like, you know, varying out my tools. This is the Real Techniques uh, Contour Brush. It's their new set of brushes. It's, I think it's the Blend and Blur line. I picked up the contour one because this shape and size is the most conducive to do all of your makeup. You could do foundation, you can do concealer, you can do like, you know, like it says, contour. So if you've looked at these brushes and you've seen them, you know that the size and shape and just the way it's built, while similar to a lot of like oval brushes on the market, it is very, uh, what's the word, robust. <laughs> There's a lot of bristles and they splay beyond like the base of this brush area. So what I have been liking, it performs just as well as a lot of the oval brushes for creams and liquids, but it also does a really great job with powder. It's very like like almost like powder puff like but much more dense so you can definitely like pounce powder on your face in areas and then you can blend it in if you want for coverage so i've been using it kind of for like a translucent and just kind of bouncing it along wherever i kind of want like here here forehead but also if you use a tinted powder a powder with pigment you can actually like buff it into your skin and it looks really pretty too so i this has been very multifunctional for me i don't know that i have any flaws with it it cleans really easily and really well the only thing is it's this kind of like a uh, soft touch material so unless i'm pretty good like my vanity tends to be fairly clean i don't have like you know foundation spills and like you know powder everywhere so mine has remained fairly clean like it's obviously not super black but it could easily get so fingerprinted and very dirty so maybe they'll do like fun colors if have you guys seen their holiday stuff their holiday stuff has been so awesome like i've been seeing all the kits at ulta they're like beautiful there's like ombre there's like rainbow there's like iridescent like their handles maybe they'll do something fun with this at some point because that would be cool i'm also just really happy that there is like a legit brand doing oval brushes because you know artiste was like you know the originals the ogs and that price range is like quite high and i do like those brushes a lot as you guys have seen in videos but it's just nice to have a legit brand that we can trust making brushes like this because there's a lot of like you know amazon ebay and like tj maxx and marshall's you go and there's like tons of these kind of brushes and i've tried a lot of them and i just don't they're just not as they're just not as good you know what i mean they might look great, but then once you use them, there's like it's a little streaky sometimes, or they don't wash well, or like it just doesn't apply your products properly. Okay, well while we're on real techniques, I might as well just show you these. I picked up these uh, sponges. This one is used. This one is not. So I've shown you guys the. I'm trying to. I'm to get the two confused. The mini miracle complexion sponges. It's like a four pack. There's four different colors. So I picked up these, which are the mini erasers, and the difference is that the shape is pretty much identical, except for this top part is like flat. And I thought I love those a lot, the complexion ones, and I do, but this, the fact that it's flat, like you seriously, you're putting on your concealer, like this, I don't know what kind of voodoo is in these kind of mini sponges from Real Techniques, but it just makes concealer look so beautiful. This flat edge allows you to kind of get this area and clean up your eyeshadow and it looks, it's just perfection. And then this kind of flat edge here really helps you kind of blend it into your cheek so you can kind of get that concealer in an area that kind of lifts your cheek love absolute love we have a variety of concealers happening on the face like i said i've just kind of been trying to use up my concealer so this is ginger from nars and use up as in like i really love this so i'm using it because i love it not because i'm trying to like use up makeup so i can like get rid of it i don't do that i like i like putting on my face what i like having on my face so this is ginger and i have this a little bit like here and the forehead i don't know what i got like two little random things they're tiny but they're there and i can see them and whatever so i use that to conceal and then this is the bare mineral stroke of light i've been a i would say avid buyer of shade two and that's like very brightening number three i was like maybe i can use it as a corrector or a concealer and i totally can the shade is very um you see that 
I use it as a corrector. I use it right here and I use it around my mouth and it for some reason blends like right into my skin because it's kind of sheer. So you can see when I once I blend it out, it's there but not really there, but it absolutely cancels out any kind of dark areas on my face, which love. Next is the Vita Water Stain Concealer from Skin Food. This is in shade two. I remember talking about this and saying, oh, I'm gonna pick up the, a darker shade. There's only two shades. This is the darker shade. So I have it on the under eyes today. You know, to rehash what I said before, it is so like concealing. It's a very pigmented concealer and high coverage and you don't need to set it with a powder. You can, but you absolutely don't have to. And I've just been like really into it. The only thing is it sets quickly. You really have do one eye at a time. Do not try to like, I think I'm gonna use this and like maybe mix it with another concealer for my sister for her wedding to see like, cause the staying power on this is fantastic. The newest obsession, the well people. Bio Brightener Invisible Powder in Universal Glow. <sighs> I'm still gonna say it. Like I said it in like the last video I talked about this in. If you pick up anything from this video, definitely grab this. It is amazing. I, I really wanna try other things from this brand. If you guys have delved into this brand, let me know what is really good because I will try it. Um, you know who else sells it? I got mine off of Target, but Birchbox sells well, people. And you know who's doing a Black Friday sale? <laughs> Birchbox. So I'm gonna pick up some stuff from there and just try stuff out. So leave your racks. I was gonna try their concealer and they have like a whole bunch of like, I think foundation sticks, but I'm not, you know, I like foundation sticks, but they're not my go-to, um, but leave your racks. I love this though. It's like, can't see. I've never used a powder that is so undetectable, but also so like long wearing. Like it's one thing, sometimes it's like, oh, is there even any powder and it's like, yeah, there's a little bit, but then it kind of like, it doesn't really set your makeup. This makes my makeup last so long. It's like, I don't know. I don't know what kind of magic is in this. For bronzer, this is the Lorac Pool Party. Oh no, it's the Lorac Tantalizer Buildable Bronzing Powder in Pool Party. I've had this for like three weeks now maybe, and I've just, I haven't used any other bronzers. Have I? I might have, maybe once or twice. Maybe I have to use the Sicily, but this, What's a recommendation from Sarah? Thank you. Um, I mean, that's what we have on today. And it's it's like a, I don't know. Let me just swatch it for you. It's not warm. It's kind of like, it's kind of neutral, I guess. Yeah, I would say it's like a, like a legit bronze shade. And then I got this in the mail yesterday. You guys remember I was obsessing over the Natasha Denona All Over Glow Powders. Um, I picked up shade one, which is like a highlighting shade. I got medium, that shattered, reordered that. That came in yesterday, so I haven't played with it. And this one also came in. This is in the shade dark. And <sighs> that's what that looks like. There is something about the way this powder, these powders reflect light and the way they don't catch the light. Once you've been wearing makeup for as long as I have and buying makeup and playing with makeup, it's very hard to come across things where you're like, oh, that's groundbreaking, that's different. Everything is like kind of, the, it's new, but it's the same kind of new, like, oh wow, more glittery shadows, you know what I mean? Like, but I use this brush. I've talked about this before. It's the Trish McAvoy 86 Petite Kabuki. This is a very dark shade. I think, People who are darker definitely need to like explore this powder range. Medium could easily be a bronzer on me. And then this is dark, which you saw is like very, very dark, but it's all about how you apply and like what tools you use. So this, I tap, no swiping, no like, I tap it in on like different angles and I just like kind of swipe it for like this right here. I don't even have to blend it, it just, adds that extra bit of definition and it's so beautiful i just mm. the first night i got it i was like oh my, i like contoured my nose with it it would just look magnificent but ugh, i can't wait to play more with this i have this on the lids today as like the eyeshadow like there was some shimmer but you probably can't see it because this even though it reflects light it's not super shimmery i just don't know how to explain it and you last vlog i showed you guys i had it, the shade number one on as a highlight and it was like it just gave off a really beautiful glow without looking, you know, like a highlight. I don't know how they do it. For the highlight today, this is the YSL Touche Clot Glow Shot. Mine is in the shade Daylight. I love the scent. All the foundations, the lip products, 
the bronzers. I just love the way YSL smells. Um, let me do a swatch of this for you. So this is what I have on the cheeks today. It's very subtle. I have it down the nose. I have it on my lips. For those of you guys who see people apply highlight powder uh, or, high, or like shimmery eyeshadows on their lips, and it looks good, but I've tried it in person, it doesn't look good. This looks awesome. I have MAC Strip Down on like as a base and I just put this on top of it. So pretty. So I have it on this hand and not on this one. Do you see? It just kind of brightens and makes the skin just look translucent and like highlighted, right? Very subtle, but very beautiful. <laughs> I'm like, is it showing? It should be showing because I can see it in the viewfinder. So obviously this would make an excellent base for highlighter too, and it obviously would look really beautiful on the skin. Um, I didn't want to put any kind of highlighter on top of this because I just wanted you to see how like the, well, how it looks like on its own, but you can absolutely use it as a topper. On my skin, and it could just be because it's winter, I'm not an oily person, but it doesn't slide. You know how a lot of um, liquid products, I feel like cream products maybe slide the most and the liquids do a little better job, but this one doesn't like move on me. Like I don't find it like, oh, now my bronzer is like highlighted, you know, after a few hours. So love this. For the brows, this was a recommendation from, I don't want to pronounce your name wrong. Park is her last name, but it's H-Y-O-R-I-N. Thank you so much for recommending this. It's by Apu, which I think is like a division or a diffusion line of Misha. And it's the Skinny Brow Cara. <sighs> okay, here's the issue with Korean stuff. Like with this concealer, two shades, that's it. Like I get it because th that is the market. But when you are like selling in like other places, like I'm Asian, but like I would totally need this. I would love a darker shade of this. You know what I mean? Like my under eye is so bright right now. And usually I go for something slightly darker, but it's fine. I'm so pale right now. Can you guys see the paleness? Like so pale. But this is like a very skinny brow mascara, I guess. Do you see how tiny that is? The shade is slightly warm, but not something that's like horrible, like where it's like, oh my God, her brows are orange. So that's what that looks like. So what I do is I kind of, you know, what do I call it? I brush through my brows. Then I brush this through my brows. I go in this direction and this direction and I use like a clean spoolie and kind of like blend that out. And then I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Ebony. I've just gone back to this shade. My eyebrow just went real intense there. It's like a really good match for me. I don't know why I strayed from Anastasia Brow Wiz. I was fully enjoying the benefit and I do like the benefit still, but like the shade range of Anastasia is just better for me. Also, you can't compete. Like a lot of maybe Korean Brands have a really great spoolie, but in the US, from what I've seen, Anastasia has the best spoolie, and the spoolie is so important. Like, it, I need it to be very skinny, and I want it to be tapered, and I want this area to be slightly rounded off, which is exactly what this does. Another one that's pretty good is like the pony effect, but I don't like the pencil, I just really like the spoolie. And it cosmetics, they're like skinny brows, their skinny brow pencil has a good spoolie, so I think it's like props to brands that actually think about like not just throwing any kind of spoolie on there because it's really important. It makes a big difference in whether or not I choose to use the product. For the eyes, this is the Hourglass in Obsidian. It's the Mechanical Gel Eyeliner. This I bought in a three pack and I use this to, ooh, it's so soft. I use it to do the tight line and it's super black. I did this combination. I do this combination a lot when I want things to be really, really dark. And then the other part of that combination is the Innisfree Power Proof Brush Liner. I love the Burberry Cat Eye that I showed you in my haul and I'm actually hoping to kind of rehash all of my favorite, um, my Sephora VIB, like, you know, I, I hauled stuff but I want to share with you guys like full on thoughts. I love that and that is probably the most like all around great um, liquid eyeliner. This one I just love because it's so black and so matte. Ooh. You know when you get heartburn, but like not on your heart side, on this side? That was like intense. Ooh, it's like a, a cramp, but like right under my breast. Okay, <sighs> this stuff, while it looks amazing, you can see how black it is, right? The only issue I found with this, the only flaw, is that for some reason, more so than other liquid liners that I've used, a lot of debris or eyeshadow or whatever is already on my lid really gets caught up in here so i have to clean it like kind of run it through a paper towel and like kind of brush out all the debris before i use it 
I can only probably get about two uses out of it before I have to do that. Um, is that going to deter me from buying this? No. Do I have two more coming in the mail? Yes. Because when you want it to look very black, this is awesome. And it stays. The only thing is, again, the got to clean it out. For the base, we have the Marc Jacobs Twinkle Pop. And this is probably in three shakes. I would say hands down, I don't use um, eye primers necessarily anymore. I haven't in a long time. I just tend to do colored bases because I tend to do kind of a smokier eye every day. This one and the By Terry Bronze Moon are probably hands down my favorite. Like, eyeshadow just lasts so much longer. I, I know we've talked about nude sticks a little bit, but those actually still kind of move on the lower lash line for me. I love them, but I have to like take effort to kind of set it. Not with just powder, because I always go over it with like an eyeshadow, but I mean like kind of like a like a matte setting powder, just kind of like brush it underneath. And even then it's not necessarily perfect, but this, the Marc Jacobs and the By Terry Bronze Moon, those, they just, my makeup just doesn't move. Like you can cry through it, you can go through the rain, it's fine. Like if, it, if something's bleeding, it's not the eyeshadow. What was that? I don't know. And then lastly, this is the eyeshadow I have on. I have been really loving these Huda Beauty like mini palettes. I've seen mixed reviews. Some people are like, oh my god, they're so good. And some people are like, yeah, they're okay. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just the fact that they're so small and the colors are like colors that I want to use all the time. So I kind of just lay all three of these out on my vanity. <laughs> And I just I just delve into whatever. It's like my own little mini makeup palette. Oh my god, I hope I don't ruin these by showing these to you like this. I'm like, ugh, I'm going to come crashing onto this table. Okay, so yeah. We have the smoky, the mauve, and the warm browns. This is the one I got first, so this one looks a little more dirtied. These two I probably play with the most. These are like very my colors. Um, I tend to enjoy like mauves, burgundies, deep kind of reddish purples. Um, I like an orange, but I'm really glad that the, the warms don't have too much of an orange because I don't go in that direction that often. And then this is just a really good like palette to have on hand as far as like kind of neutrals go. You have a great black, you have some browns to play with. Um, I'm just, I really, really like this. I mean, I've been enjoying it. Are they like the best eyeshadows? Maybe not. Are the mattes better than Vizier? No, but like just to have these like sitting there and the accessibility and ease you can create so many looks with this i'm just very very into them we didn't do bottom lash mascara today do we not love the ysl like glow shot on the lips i mean it looks awesome it doesn't dry out your lips because it's like moisturizing love it i've been putting it on every so often whenever i'm like you know using it on my face i'll just like tap it on my lips and it just looks so good These earrings are from Forever 21. I haven't shared these with you yet, but I wanted to. I've worn them a few times. They're like, they have that, like that bamboo vibe. And they're really like nicely made. Like they have a little bit of weight to them, but they're not the kind that like make your earlobes feel like they're gonna split after an hour. Okay, so it's been like go, go, go this week. Um, I feel like all these clips are like car clips. I have like so much clothing on right now, it's so cold. Um, but, um, uh, so whenever I have like four card clips in a row, I try to like insert the food clips or makeup clips, which sometimes doesn't work out that well. I don't know if you guys caught it in last week's vlog. So I, tr I inserted my Sephora VIB haul in between like two card clips but I probably inserted it into the wrong car clips <laughs> because later on, after showing you guys the haul, I talk about how I'm gonna show you guys the haul. Yeah, genius. I, don't, I didn't even catch it when I was editing because I'll be honest, we've been editing in like a crunch lately. So, and it's like, well, why don't you just not vlog? Well, <laughs> even though it takes up so much more time and when I'm busier, it just, I don't want my life to just be about work. So like I force these vlogs in because then I feel like I don't want to be someone that's like consumed by their work. I mean, I think it'd be different if um, I was obsessed with my work, but I don't know how much job satisfaction I get out of it. So <clears throat> that's why. Hair is back. So this has been like a bad hair week. So like last night, because like my hair just holds a curl, like, you know, 
I like spritz the whole thing with water to like, what do you call it? Limp, make it limp. And then this morning, there was still so much wave in it, but like, you know, obviously it was uneven. So I'm like trying to straighten it. And in the process of straightening it, probably completely just damaged the crap out of it. So now it's back and it's fine because whatever. Also, so right now in November, we have a lot of like these prayer remembrance ceremonies. If you're Chinese or Asian, you're probably familiar with it. But like, you know, you got your pictures of the deceased and uh, you do a whole meal. If you've watched vlogs for a while, I've like showed you guys some of the stuff before, but we have a lot of them in November, like November through December. And then like at the beginning of the year, again, you have like Chinese New Year. So we do them, there's like, just a big chunk of them that happen because that's just when people in my family died. Um, so that's where I'm going now. And then I have kind of a busy like work, not work, yeah, work thing. I have to go pick up something. But this place closes kind of early. I don't know. I'm all over the place today, guys. All over the place. Good morning. Okay. Coat is back. Feeling good. You know, whenever I wear this coat, I feel very like put together, even if I have like <sighs> nothing interesting on. Okay. So yesterday was really busy out of nowhere. Um, I had uh, our like family like prayer thing and then I didn't go back into the office because I had to like pick up something for work and then ended up doing other stuff with my mom for work. Uh, I've been a bit between like two, three kind of like, I don't want to say jobs, but kind of busy and I'm like, how do stuff is getting left behind is basically what's getting ha what's happening and it, it shouldn't be and can't be um so i don't know i'm like anxious going into work today because i already looked at my work emails and i'm like oh no that's bad and that's really bad and oh, i don't know okay all right so i've got three the the surat lip products in here they're all the same they're the lip sleeks. I have Gamine, Bandy, Ladybug. What do we feel like today? Uh, let's pull out a little bit. It's like no light. Okay. Strip down. See how tiny strip down is now? The one on my vanity, I think, is even smaller. I haven't been watching anything lately. Like, I just have stuff on in the background while I'm doing other stuff. I'm gonna use Gamine. Um, I have, like, Fuller House on in the background, which is so... It's just nostalgic, because I grew up... Do you guys... What was it called? Friday? TGIF? Do you guys remember watching that? But I mean, then you're probably around like my age or around my age. Um, Uncle Jesse for life, like, oh my God, right? Yummy. Okay, <clears throat> what was that? Um, Picked up the dresses from the tailor yesterday. They all are fitting fantastic. So now, I got them back early. I was supposed to get them in today, but we randomly went there yesterday because my mom wanted to get a dress hemmed. So, next couple days, today's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, at least I have the full day, and then Sunday is the flight. So, I haven't packed anything. I've had one outfit picked out. So now that I have all the dresses back, I'm gonna figure out jewelry, and then, all the other outfits then in the task of trying to pick out all the proper makeup 